My name is Nicole Nickel. I'm a biotechnology scientist at the J.R. Simplot Company. I help develop the innate potato. There's a lot of confusion about GMOs these days. I hope I can explain a few things. First off, GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organisms. When a scientist uses that phrase, we're talking about an organism, it could be a plant or an animal, whose genetic code has been changed by scientists in the lab. We do this for a lot of reasons. Usually, scientists change an organism's genetic code to give it a quality or trait it wouldn't otherwise have. GMOs are used to make beer, cheese, and also insulin for diabetes treatment. Well, at Simplot, we wanted to make a better potato. We wanted a potato that didn't bruise as much as regular potatoes, that would resist browning and have reduced formation of acrylamide when it's cooked. Acrylamide is formed when naturally occurring amino acids and sugars react at high temperatures. It's in most starchy foods. And even though acrylamide has been a part of our diet for generations, the FDA recommends limiting it when you can. We thought potatoes like that could be helpful to consumers, but also to potato farmers. Now you could breed a potato that could have one of these traits, but to get a potato that had all of the qualities we wanted would take decades of traditional breeding. In traditional breeding, you take the pollen from the male part of a flower and you apply it to the female part of a different flower that has different characteristics. This scrambles the genes in unpredictable ways. It might give you bigger fruit or a different color flower. Farmers have been doing this for thousands of years with a lot of trial and error. So the big advantage of using biotechnology to make a potato with better traits is that we could do it in far less time and we could use the best of what nature offers. The conventional potatoes you buy in a grocery store, they're hard to breed, but they also have over 4,000 wild relatives from North and South America with some amazing qualities. So with biotechnology, we could be precise about what genes we wanted to change and still maintain the good qualities of the variety we started with. So we created the innate potato, a potato that doesn't bruise as much, resists browning, and has lower levels of asparagine than typical potatoes reducing the potential for acrylamide. But we did it with only potato genes. This is where innate is different. We took genes from another potato. I'm proud of how we did this. And now we have a new variety of potato, the white russet. The Food and Drug Administration extensively reviewed white russet potatoes and found them to be as safe and nutritious as their conventional counterparts. I agree. I'm a scientist and a mom, so safe and nutritious are important to me. I also like the way they taste.